What's going on guys? Welcome back to another Fish Tank Friday. My tank is looking good, but today we have a guest appearance. We're going to be checking out a 120 gallon mixed reef tank. It doesn't look that great right now. I'll tell you all about it inside. And the guest is... What? Jason? Jason? Does know me? Fish Tank Friday just started like a month ago. There's a bunch of new people on here. Uh -oh. Jason. All right, the 120 gallon, boom, is right here. Looking not the best because somebody doesn't know how to take care of their tank and they had a nitrate spike. Nitrate? Nitrate. Nitrite. Nitrite spike. Went to 25? 25. Yeesh, everything died. Not everything, just the SPS. That big purple tang right there was from my tank, but I felt he was too big, so I donated him to Jason's tank, and now he has a big, pretty purple tang in his fish tank. Yellow. That's Dorothy. What, the yellow one? The yellow one's Dorothy. That's called Mandarin. Mandarin right up now. there. You got some, a little food here? A little bit of food. This is homemade food. I usually do is just poke it right in here. There they oh, go. savages. I had six Antheas. I had four, I had eight, four of these and four of those, and they keep disappearing. His fish, when they go to eat, they are like spaz, like this is. They love the food. Need a little more? This is why I have high nitrates. So the lady I bought it from, she was originally from California. She had it in California for seven years. She brought it over here, and then she was retiring and she wanted to travel. So I got a big deal on it and uh, came basically pretty much the way it's at, the way, the way it's set up. I added a couple things, of course. I added some coral, my choices. Wrong. So what do we got under the hood? Oh, this one doesn't open? It does. I'm not sure how big the sump is. So I'm gonna guess around 40 or 50 gallon. I don't know, I'm not sure. It's my protein skimmer. I still use the old school mesh bags, I guess, mesh. Cotton? I don't know what this is. But that's my filtration, mechanical filtration. And here's my Kato. I have a bunch of Kato all in here. Kato, Kato, Kato. And my return pump, which is a Ecotec M1. These are my dosing containers. I just made them not too long ago. They're the uh, Voss bottles. This one's supposed to be for calcium. I haven't set it up yet. This one's my alkaline. It's fed through the uh, Giebo, I think it's called, Giebo pump. Dusting pump, DP4. And then to clean up uh, all the wires, I made this false board. The board that, uh, and then it's a switch panel with all my little gadgets. Sump, pump, uh huh. For my LP40s, two see. LP40s. This is my right side MP40, which is that one. And then my left side MP40s over there. Where's that controller? Right there. Oh, wow, left and right side. So I don't forget. You didn't do that, she did it. I did that. You did? She didn't have those pumps. I bought oh, those. Okay. So, sorry. So I've been having a big problem with these guys too. I've never had a problem with these guys. I was literally about to... My emerald crabs have been picking at my corals. So this tank, when we got back from the van, Jason got this tank. That's what like spiraled the whole thing of me getting my tank. It's all his fault. For the lighting, we have a little modification. It came with these Hydro 26s. They're a little outdated, but I felt like I was underlit, so I made these brackets out of aluminum, and I added these uh, Sunblaster T5s, which I've been really impressed with. Really happy I did it. T5 setup. He's got some... Uh, Aussie torches. Yeah, Aussie torches. He's got them there and there. He wouldn't give me any. I'm not sure why he wouldn't give them to me, just because I guess they're expensive. They came with the tank, but he wouldn't even give me one head, and then he just killed two heads. I didn't. The emerald crabs did. Never his fault. Three heads. Whose tank is it? Three heads. Whose tank is it? It's my dad's. Ah, uh, now it's your dad's. Cool little shrimp here. That's a cleaner shrimp. Skunk shrimp. Kobe just loves to get it. He loves the camera. So I had a few obstacles with this tank already. First one was, um, let's see what came first. I got the antheas, and they have to eat. Supposedly they need to eat three times a day. So I started feeding them three times a day. And then my nitrate started going up and I didn't notice until... It was too late. 
Basically all the SPS started dying. Yeah, everything started dying. This tank was actually, this Monty cap here was like super nice and layered and now it's just like a... <laughs> the most recent obstacle I've had was those emerald crabs that were picking at my massive uh, torch colony and then I got the brown jelly disease and then I was worried that all my LPS was going to get wiped out and luckily enough I only lost three of the torch heads. You didn't even, you said you only lost two. I lost three. And you didn't even want to give me one. Unbelievable. I'll give you one. Which one do you want? No, Which forget one? it now. You only want to give me stuff because everything's dying. Nothing is dying anymore. It's all booming now. Oh yeah, booming. I'm gonna give you that frog spawn. Before. That's no. You were gonna give that to me too, and then you got mad that I, all my corals so were. So I'll give you out. nothing. How about that? Okay, go ahead. Carry on. And that's it. Oh, and I also have a. Some people think it's a bother worm. Someone told me it's a poly poly chat worm, but he's massive. I'll send you the video. Uh, he's like at least three feet long. He's not exaggerating. He's freaking humongous. I woke he, up one morning. He was like across the whole thing. I woke up one morning and he was munching on my uh, a turbo snail that I had. He was tucked away here and he went all the way up. He was huge. You were supposed to build a trap. You built the trap I and you never- I built the trap. It was in there for four days and- Never caught him. Came out. I haven't seen him since. This was uh, three months ago already. He's down here in the sand bed somewhere living life. These fish are disappearing and you don't even find them dead. They just, they disappear. I've checked behind the tank. I've checked in there. There's, there's nowhere to be found. Nowhere, huh? Nowhere. So that's the story about the 120 gallon, which got me into the 65 gallon. I didn't show my tank this week because I still haven't gotten my fish. They are at my fish guy's house, but they're quarantined still, so I haven't been able to put them into my tank. And there's nothing really else to show you until I have the fish to put in the tank. So you'll get the update then. Hopefully by next Friday, we'll have the fish pumping in there and we'll be good to go. Anything else you want to add, Jason? That's it. All right, beautiful 120 gallon tank. Hopefully things turn around and it starts doing a little better. Your nitrates and all that are good now, right? Yeah. Everything is perfecto. Thanks so much for watching another Fish Tank Friday. We will see you in the next one. Later.